good to be back. G'day guys, how you doing? Now you may have noticed it's been a while since I've uploaded the video. It's just due to a few unfortunate facts. The last few months I've just been pretty busy with work and that's um, kept me out of action. The weather's also been bad so I haven't had many opportunities to get out there and make videos as much as I would have liked to. And uh, as you would have seen in the earlier footage um, a couple of weeks ago, I had a perfect opportunity but um, that went pear shaped too. My boat broke down. But today, fingers crossed, it's um, looking pretty good. So uh, the plan for today is I'm going to be meeting up with a couple of my friends uh, and then um, hopefully we'll get onto some fish, follow through with the catch and cook. So as for now, I'm just going to keep um, preparing for the trip and we'll see you all back when we're on the water. As I mentioned earlier, we're at the spot now, and um, today fishing with me, I've got my mate Arn. Can say hello, what? Hey. <laughs> Mr. Camera Shy. Mr. Camera Shy. So what we're doing now is just trying to get a bit of live bait and uh, see if we can target something decent today. What a day. So we're back at home now and got to say these days catching cooks are hard to come by. So as you guess um, today's was a pretty slow day. Now we had a few pretty good hookups but um, we just weren't able to land any good fish but um, all is not lost. So what I have in front of me here is um, a pretty decent sized scorpion fish. I suppose he's one of the unlucky ones and what I had in mind for it today was um, I'm going to be making a Chinese sweet and sour crispy fish. So I'm going to start processing this guy and then we'll start cooking. So the fish has been cleaned and processed now. Now I'll skip the demonstration on the cleaning of this particular fish. Uh, it's just due to the fact that I've uh, done an earlier video with the scorpion fish. However, I did mention that um, it is quite a dangerous fish to handle so you need to take extra care. Uh, what I've done with this particular fish is, um, so it's been scaled, I removed all the dangerous spikes, but um, being that I'm going to be doing a crispy sweet and sour, I've slightly filleted it and just cut it into a butterfly pattern. Now this is just for aesthetic presentation and it helps the fish crispen up when it's been deep fried. So now while we wait for the oil, uh, the oil is just heating up now, we're going to coat this with some corn flour. Now 
And the, the idea of this corn flour too is just to help it crispen up, dries the fish out, doesn't spatter as much as well. So I'll dust it with the corn flour. As you can see, I love um, cooking outdoors because all these spills. Later, I'll just hose down this area. It saves a lot of cleaning. Okay. Make sure you give it a very liberal coating of this because you want the skin and the flesh to be extra crispy. Meanwhile, gives me time to have the oil nice and hot as well. The rule of thumb of anything deep frying, the oil has to be super hot. Okay, so I'll just bring the fish in just for another close up there. As you can see, it's been butterflied, but the fillets are still hot, intact and um, spread out. Got a few bamboo skewers inside just to keep it spread out. Okay, oil should be nice and done now. Let's have a little check. Yep, well, about ready. Okay, so here comes the dangerous part. So I've just laid all some of this hot oil over the fish just to help the top side crispen up. So we can have an even cook. Okay, so the fish is nearly done. Let's start with the sweet sour sauce. So I'll get this saucepan up to the heat. What we'll do is put in just some pasta sugar. And what we're going to do is we're going to caramelize that. Just keep stirring it while it's slowly heating up. Okay, so the sugar's done in milk now. And you can see the colour slowly going brown. It's turning into caramel. Okay, so it's a lovely rich caramel colour now. The next part of the process, I'm going to add a bit of water just to dilute it. that simmer for a bit. And that's your sweetener. Okay, so the fish is done. Take, take the fish out. It's nice and crispy. Oil drain out. Okay, now these are just some onion wedges, just for a bit of um, texture and to add a bit of onion flavour into the sauce. Let that simmer in there so it cooks through. Um, this is just some white vinegar. Put that in there as well. Bring, it, bring the heat back up. Now at this point, we have a little taste just to see if the balance of sweetness and sourness is um, the perfect balance. Yeah. It's just the right amount of sweetness and just the right amount of tartness. Just a bit of um, sweet chilli, it's just for the little chilli flakes to flick through because I don't want this to be a, a really spicy dish. Oh, the smell that's coming off this is amazing. Let's put that 
Great. Now the base of this is going to be a very um, sticky sauce. That's what I'm going to ask. What, what I'm going to add. This, this is just some diluted corn flour. Just to thicken it up. Simmer it along nicely. Okay, so just before we thicken it up, just gonna add a bit of um, chopped shallots it's just for a bit of green. And it might be just a little bit too thick, so there's a bit more water. Okay, just to finish it up. So there you have it. Sweet sour crispy scorpion fish. Freshly caught, freshly cooked, and freshly eaten, I suppose. So let's um go in for the kill and see what it tastes like. Just break off a little piece here. Oh, the meat is so flaky. It holds together quite nicely too. And it's, I can feel that crispy texture around it when the chopsticks just dig into it there. Just get a bit of that sauce there. Bring it up for a close up there. That's what it tastes like. Mm. That's sensational guys. It's so sweet. And you can taste that freshness in it. Like this fish was literally caught a few hours ago. And now it's on the dinner table. Cooked in an awesome way. Okay, so as for now, I'm gonna kick back and enjoy the rest of this afternoon with this awesome, awesome meal. So once again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, I'm hoping to be able to get out there a lot more now that the weather's warming up. So until the next time, bye for now.